Hey everyone, Ashley here. The library has some awesome books on creating, crafting, baking, and other maker topics, but what do you do if you're a little bit more of a visual video learner? Well, we have you taken care of. Head on up to Books and Services and you're going to go to All Online Resources. We're gonna check out Creative Bug first. We're gonna scroll down, everything is in alphabetical order. We're going to hit this Access Creative Bug button. So welcome to Creative Bug. Creative Bug is actually owned by Joance. So if you scroll down a bit, you will see all sorts of making and crafting projects. Paper, fiber, beading, just everything that you can think of. So the first time that you click on the Creative Bug link, it is actually going to ask you for your new Linux library card number. If you type it in there, you're also going to need your PIN number. Now if you haven't changed your PIN number to something custom, it is going to be the last four numbers of your library card number. Once you put in your library card and PIN, it is going to ask you for your name and email address and you'll need to create a password. This is going to help you log in later um, and also there is a creative bug app that you can use on a mobile device. I'm going to go ahead and submit this. What I'm going to do first is view all classes and give you sort of an overview of things. Now if you have something in particular that you are looking for you can go over to filter results and the topics are listed right here. Art and design, sewing, paper, holiday and party, food and home, knitting, quilting, kids, crochet, jewelry. I like that they do quick classes, which are just the shorter classes if you don't have much time. There are specific classes for beginners, techniques if you're looking specifically for how to do something, multi-part classes if you don't just want a one-off class, you want to actually dig in and follow um, and develop a skill. You can also look for uh, specific instructors. So for example, they have Wilton instructors if you're looking for um, learning how to do the Wilton style of cake decorating. There is um, just a ton of people on here. So I am going to go ahead and look at food and home. We can do home decor, quick classes again, packaging and presentation. We're going to look today at baking and cake decorating, I think. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the apply button. So it's not just going to be baking in this case. So over here in the top left, we can see there's a Cricut Crafts class, uh, how to make a nutcracker cake topper, but there's also how to make hand-rolled truffles, um, how to write using the Wilton me method of cake decorating, making chocolates, making cupcakes. Just look at, I'm really hungry right now. So this is fantastic. I'm gonna clear this filter out we're going to go to another filter. So let's go ahead and look at art and design, drawing, painting, sketchbook exercises, craft technology, printmaking, textiles, just a ton of stuff. Let's check out lettering. We're going to apply and let's go ahead and look at, you know, look at creative doodling. So this is a multi-part class. So that's a nice extensive class. What's really nice about Creative Bug is you can follow the chapters. It'll give you a materials list. You can see a gallery, a kind of an overview. See if there's any discussion down here. So you can make comments, you can ask questions. You can see if anybody else has taken the class. And if you really liked it, you can look at related classes. You can take a peek at daily practice, different things to help you just be creative every day if you like, or you can just pop in whenever you like. Resources include letting you know what's new. They have an overview and introduction of all of their instructors. They've got a blog. They have CBTV, which is um, a little bit more like behind the scenes and a deeper look into things. They have a pattern library, which is fantastic. And then class collections. So let's look at leather. 
So these are class collections that are um, similar topics all together. So if you really like one, you can look for it in a class collection and it can give you a variety of things. And that is Creative Bug. I really encourage you to take a peek at that. Now let's go take a look at Hoopla. You may already have Hoopla. It's one of our most popular offerings here at the library. So we're going to go ahead and access Hoopla Instant. It's going to take you to HooplaDigital.com. It's going to automatically sign me in because I've used Hoopla before, but you could also sign in with your library card. Now I'm going to go ahead and go up to everything and I'm going to type in Craftsy. I'm just going to hit enter. And you'll see all of these classes pop up. Now it's not as organized as Creative Bug is, but they've got a lot of great topics. So there's everything from making a quilted tree skirt to homemade holiday bread, cake logistics, which sounds delicious and fascinating, um, fair isle holiday ornaments, modeling chocolates, all sorts of things hand sewing, mechanic and sewing, roasting techniques every cook should know. There's just so much here. So I am actually going to look at the Woodland Animals video. I've been recently voluntold that I'm going to be making some things for my nephew, so I think that this would be helpful for me to borrow. So I'm going to go ahead and borrow this introduction. Um, this does count towards your four items a month in May, but we are bumping it up to six items a month in June. So go ahead and borrow this title. And now I'm ready to watch my video. It's as simple as that. I hope you enjoyed this overview of Creative Bug and Craftsy, and I hope that they are going to help you become the maker that you want to be. Thank you.